Ladies and gentlemen, I am here today to present the best games, the best five games in Girl in the Basket, or at least my personal five favorite games. This game right here solidified the series for me, bro. Literally, everybody in the comments was talking about, oh, I'll meet it, wait till I'll meet it, pull up, I'll meet it, that that guy the other week I just, I just saw that nigga pull up against Cogby. he was in his street clothes he he left a little aura trail behind his ass you know what I'm saying when he speed blitz Cogby, i was like okay this nigga this, this nigga might be something special right and keep in mind i just saw mita rima the week before i'm like how much better can this get like you know what's what's better than a nigga that can shoot a hundred percent from anywhere on the court and keep in mind this nigga doesn't pull it to the second half like how fucking disrespectful do you have to be like ah that nigga tetsu he ain't all that. Let me pull up in the second half. You know what I'm saying? That's all I need. So I'm going to say less, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what this nigga got, right? So he get in the game. Nigga hits a tween tween cross cross on his ass. Oh, no. And I'm like, damn. But then my nigga cogged me and said, nah, we ain't playing that shit, nigga. We ain't playing that. And that boy like, oh, it, it's like that now, huh? It, it, it's like that now. You know what I'm saying? My boy cogged me. You know what I'm saying? He trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? He trying to know. You know, assert his dominance in the game. You know what I'm saying? Big dog on me, they ain't here. He like, you know, so let me show something nice. So he going up for a jet. This nigga on me, they get his get back immediately. So the second quarter ends. You know, we just chill. Like, I mean, they ain't showing me nothing yet. So like, I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we have a chance here, right? I was wrong. But he came out that locker room for fucking aura. I was like, what the hell is about to go down? Bro had this blue Super Saiyan blue aura. I'm like, damn. We fucked. Talking me out here smiling like he ain't about to get his ass fucking worked. Talking about like, oh, you finally warmed up now, nigga. All right, nigga, about time. You know what I'm saying? So my, so my nigga, I'm in there sizing him up. You know, so he hit him with the tween. Blow by, nigga. Nigga looked like he got sent to heaven with that fucking light around his ass. I mean, it like, let me stop on a dime real quick like I'm Kyrie and I'm gonna pull up real quick. At this stage, I'm like, I'm not even like, you know what I'm saying, too impressed right now. I'm thinking like, you know what I'm saying, is he really better than me and Rima? But then, one of the most, the most disrespectful, utterly disrespectful highlight plays of the whole entire series takes place the next position down. So this nigga, I mean, they dribbling down the court. I'm not thinking too much of it, right? No. This nigga just starts spamming all sorts of types of dribble combos, dribble moves. This nigga is literally spamming his controller. I, thinking he, uh, uh, he in 2K at the park right now, my nigga. Right. I was I was malfunctioning at this moment in time. I couldn't I couldn't compute what was happening myself. And then the fucking unthinkable happened. My nigga Kagami got dropped. He got fucking dropped. The most disrespectful moment of the series until at this point in time. Before that obviously that one nigga Akashi. You know what I'm that nigga, <laughs> that nigga dog. But worse is yet to come because it's the fucking finish that is fucking even better. This nigga on minute, he don't be passing the ball. This nigga sees three people on him. He's like, I'm gonna make this shit somehow, right? And this nigga goes over underneath the backboard, throws a shot over it, and then makes it. This nigga has the fucking 2K sliders on 100. I was shook off at the moment. This whole sequence was insane. Even coach is shitting her pants at this moment. She's like, what the fuck do we do? Pretty much, Almeida proceeds to cook these niggas for the rest of the game. But this nigga has another highlight play. So he's running down the court. Cogby's chasing after his ass. He going up for his layup. And this nigga Cogby fouls him. But this nigga still mid-air. Fucking just tosses that shit up. And he makes the shot. And one nigga. I was fucking done after that shit, nigga. I was like, this nigga's the best in the show. What the fuck? I was like, what, what, what BS is Cogby about to pull out his ass to fucking stop his ass? And that nigga did not pull out shit because this nigga just continued to dominate him. Even when Corco, Corco did his thing, he came back and just gave, you know what I'm saying? Corco was doing his thing for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? They got a couple buckets when he came back into the game, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, they shut that shit down real quick, nigga. And then... He beats, he, he goes through the whole entire, I'm telling you, he goes through the whole entire team. Bro, sauces up Izuki, he sauces up Yuka, you feel what I'm saying? He just, he, this nigga is, he's, he's a highlight real, he's just saucing everybody. Mitobe couldn't do shit against his ass. And then, Korko and Kagami. Rim, if I mean he's going for a dunk, I'm thinking this nigga Kagami gonna meet his at the, at the rim. But Korko jumping with him too, so I'm like, oh damn, we might have a chance to stop his ass. No, this nigga posters both their asses. He brings them both on their asses, nigga. Fucking sitting there for an extended period of time. Keep in mind, they just not getting up immediately. Me personally, I'm getting up immediately. As my boy Corco just sitting on his ass, my nigga on me is like, ha, that nigga Akashi was right, nigga. Yo, basketball is ass, he'll never win. He kicking a man while he already down. The rest of the game, I mean, it just fucking destroys them all. 
Toa Academy, they just, they absolutely demolished there. And I'm pretty sure that's their only L in the whole entire show. It was bad, but I love seeing Almine's dominance. He became my favorite character after that moment. Now, this game right here was a doozy, bro. But it all starts with Tatsuya. My nigga Tatsuya, bro. They was hyping this man up crazy before the game, bro. This nigga came up to Alex talking about... He, he surpassed her ass. Talking about the student surpassed the master or some shit. Nigga, Alex was like, oh, oh damn, nigga. It's like that now, huh? It's like that now, you know what I'm saying? How are you going to disrespect this absolute baddie of a hooper? You feel what I'm saying? How are you going to How are you going to disrespect her ass? But, like, even before that scene, bro, this nigga Kuroko talking about, like, oh, he feel like he one of the niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, damn, this nigga gotta be a god or some shit, right? You know what I'm saying? He sauce up a little bit, but, like, he ain't no G.O.M. level type shit, you feel what I'm saying? It's like a bar on that level, not him. This game was a real grit and grind game, bro. Like, they had some grown-ass man over there at Yosin, bro. Like, they shouldn't be in high school, bro. They need to age check these men before the game, because, nigga, <laughs> those are some big boys over there. For, pretty much for the most part of the early game, bro, nigga, we're getting our asses locked up this fucking big ass nigga murders like a bara is just fucking blocking all our shots right and this nigga not even playing offensive oh he just he just cherry picking on defense this nigga just sit standing all the way back there cherry picking his ass on defense so we end up going down 18 to 0 but you know say my nigga my hero the main character the main protagonist of the show kuroko he coming in clutch this nigga been allowed my nigga almine you know, so he's, he's able to break the ice of the game right you know so it was pretty cool seeing kuroko you know the nigga that didn't shoot the ball all series long make a bucket for the first time that was kind of cool especially with him doing it on the best defender the whole tournament that was wild so pretty much now this nigga Korko starts getting buckets now and i'm like damn nigga go crazy now go get yourself a bucket nigga let's go right you know what i'm saying he getting bucket. we closing the gap down a little bit right but then finally finally my nigga tatia finally decides to do something in the game. I was like about damn time, right? This nigga talking to Kaguya like, oh, y'all better lock the fuck in, homeboy. I'm about to fuck y'all up. He started making some buckets, right? I'm not impressed in the least bit. I'm like, is that really it, nigga? Is that really it to your game? I know he has his little vanishing shot or whatnot, but like, is that really it? But this nigga Tasha continues to talk crazy, talking about, oh, you better come at me like you're trying to kill me, homeboy. I'm like, damn, I didn't know he was that hot bloody. But then, my boy Tepe, my brother Tepe happened, bro. My man Kiyoshi Tepe, man. He started fucking Murasaka Bari up, boys. He was going in on him. Bro posted his ass not just one time. He didn't post Murasaka Bari's ass one time, but he did it twice. He did it two times. Though that obviously led to, you know, Bro collapsed mid game, but boy was giving that man the work though. I was shocked. <laughs> so now after getting embarrassed, you know, Samuel so Sakabara obviously he finally decides to go on offense. You know, this man is a combination of Prime Shaq and Giannis. Bro dunked the ball so hard on Kaga, I mean, he broke the hoop. He broke nigga broke the hoop. Nigga 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 gave himself a timeout. <laughs> he dunked the ball so hard he had fucking Tepe getting flashbacks to when he fucking got destroyed by his ass in middle school, bro. Now bro gets the rebound. Now he's just dribbling full court like he honest, bro. He like, you need to get out of my way, go to everybody, bro. And then he fucking dunks both on Tepe and Kagami at the same exact time, nigga. And this nigga Tepe is just laid the fuck out, bro. Keep in mind he just collapsed a couple minutes ago, but this nigga is laid the fuck out ass out and everything bro but wait another one of the most disrespectful moments in all of Kuroko the basket is about to take place he sees a hand he's obviously thinking it's his teammate's hand but oh boy how he was wrong this nigga Morisaka Bari forcefully picks his ass up this nigga is hanging out by one arm bro this nigga's tape's like oh 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 Looking at him in shock. And this nigga Murasaka Bar is talking shit at the same time. He's like, oh, ho, ho, nigga. Ha, ha. You thought you could protect your teammates this time, nigga? Are you having fun right now? Huh? But now with Tepe out the game, Kagabi starts trying to do too much. And obviously, he's trying to get into the zone. But you can't get into the zone by wishing to be into the zone. But then my nigga Kisei. My nigga Kisei. He come to his ass. He talking about... Oh, nigga, you looking real sad right now, huh? Now, I guess I'm gonna play this big-ass nigga in the next round. Your bum ass gonna be up in them stands watching from the sidelines, nigga. After that, after that pep talk, my nigga Cogby went crazy. This, this nigga two-hand blocked Murasaka Barra. And then, and then the unthinkable happens.
my nigga went to the zone. After that, I was like, oh, <laughs> they win this game for sure. <laughs> but then this nigga Tati has one of the cleanest sequences in the show. This nigga starts saucing up everybody. Nigga sauced up Hugo Corco. This nigga was going crazy. I was like, oh, damn. Little did he know, nigga, his, his ass about to get fucking stopped. This nigga cocked me fucking in a super jump in the zone and pinned this <laughs> shit. And also, Mercer Cabarro is trying something now. You know what I'm saying? He doing his little Thor's hammer dunk. That shit gets stopped immediately. This nigga Cogmi's on timer right now. He he just built different in the zone. Like literally, this nigga can fucking create after images, bro. This nigga did the cleanest fake of all time on Tatia, bro. And this nigga starts fucking air walking too, nigga. What the fuck is on his feet, nigga? The hell he wearing, boy? This nigga start air walking this fucking Spencer or Mosakabara. At that point, I'm like, nigga, do we don't even need Tepe? <laughs> After that, bro was talking about quitting, bro. He was fucking devastated by getting posted like that. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I'm done, nigga. Nobody beating his ass at this point, right? That's until obviously Tasha started beating his ass. And he got his act together. He tied his hair up. That's what he know. When this boy, when this man right here, he, when he ties his hair up, there are going to be some problems. <laughs> so after he tied his hair up, bro, you know what I'm saying? He starts playing better. He's able to go back and forth with staring for a little bit. Cogby obviously still going crazy in the zone or whatnot, right? That is until my boy Tepe comes in. And then... The nigga that was supposed to be GOM level gets blocked by Hugo. Of all niggas, Hugo. Of all niggas, bro. Are you kidding me, bro? Tatsu, he really disappointed me. I can't even lie. He was just a big disappointment to me. But then this nigga goes into the zone. Mirasaka Barra goes into the zone. I'm like, damn, this nigga, I mean, I was wrong. He was talking about, oh, he can't go into the zone. Nigga, he proved y'all asses wrong. He, started, he, he goes into the zone. Nobody really knows until later on. And this nigga's about to fucking poster the fuck out, Kagami. But then my boy Tepe, he trying to get his get back. You, know? you feel what I'm saying? They double block his ass. I'm like, damn, that's game. Nigga, no, this nigga does the fucking creepiest run I've ever seen a grown big ass man do. In my entire life. And he fucking catches up to this nigga Kagami on the fast break. But my boy Kagami like, okay, nigga. <laughs> I see how it is, nigga. So this nigga jumps from the free throw and I'm like, what the fuck is he doing, right? right? Like, I'm like, like, no way you pose for this nigga that's fucked that fucking excels at defense and now he's in the zone, right? But this nigga pulls a fucking Blake Griffin and fucking posters him with a meteor jam. After, after this moment, bro, I was like, Kagami is fucking him. He's him. He's actually him. Now, after that, I thought that was raps. <laughs> that was pretty much game to me. But Sakami, obviously, he's fucking dead ass tired from what he just did. This nigga right here, he's already at the under under end of the court. Nobody there to stop his, his big ass. You feel what I'm saying? If, only person I can stop him right now is Kogmi. Or so I thought. Nigga's legs, bro. His legs gave out. Nigga tried to dunk it. This nigga couldn't jump. I'm like, boy, what the? These niggas are getting bailed the fuck out. Y'all niggas is getting bailed the fuck out. Corko getting bailed the fuck out. Yo, your team getting bailed out, nigga. Your team got plot on their side. But it gets fucking worse. This nigga Corko comes up and blocks the fuck out his ass. This nigga didn't even try to lay the ball. This nigga Corko just came and fucking swallowed the fuck out that shit. I was like, okay, nigga. Okay, nigga. Your little ass doing that shit. Okay, nigga. All right. And that's pretty much how the game ended, bro. That's why this isn't. If that if it didn't end that way, this probably be way higher on the list. But because of how the game ended, it's 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 number four. This is the game where a menace was born. This nigga Akashi is probably the the most. This nigga, this he he's he's got he's got to be the biggest menace in the whole entire series of Gorko no Basket, bro. Maybe other than that nigga Hizaki, that nigga just out of, he out of pocket. But so the game starts out pretty even, you know. What I'm saying Midorima and his boys, they doing their thing or whatnot. Midorima bringing out dribble packages and moves that I've never seen him bring out the whole series, right? And he passes it to his teammates as well. That's his character development right there. This man never used to pass. Now he passing, right? But all that, all that went to shit when Akashi fucking activated his fucking eyes, his Emperor's eye, nigga. Bro started locking Midorima the fuck up after he fucking marked his ass, bro. And then this is when the most the the the, the, the disrespect started happening, bro disrespect this nigga started fucking breaking everybody's fucking ankles uh, like uh, real talk he started breaking everybody's ankles my nigga taka o was the first one to go bro you know what I'm saying? after he got dropped like oh everybody can't drop now <laughs> crazy thing was bro was looking at his ass on the ground while he was shooting his shot which is fucking utterly disrespectful bro out here continuing to lock me to rim his ass up he's dodging fucking screens and everything bro Nobody's stopping his ass. Like, literally nothing is working. Pass phase, nothing. This nigga can see it all. He can see the fucking future. Stop in the name of the law. Don't get ahead of yourself first year. This nigga Akashi fucking drops both their bum asses. They're not bums. Those are my niggas, but he dropped them both. 
at the same time, Ed with fucking like finesse and grace. This nigga's not even moving fast, bro. He's fucking walking and people are dropping. But then another iconic moment happens in the series, bro. This nigga, Akashi, did the fucking elbow pass. This nigga pulled a white chocolate on their asses, bro. They had to replay that shit like two, three fucking times, bro, for us to see that shit properly. That was literally insane. Nigga, all of these when I see that shit, bro. Boy, this nigga is like, I, at this point, I'm like, oh, this nigga found a fucking boss for real. <laughs> now my nigga made a rumor, like, huh, nigga, you ain't gonna do that shit to me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You best to fuck not. So he trying to guard his ass, and honestly, when he got dropped, nigga, because he got dropped, <laughs> it was fucking out. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> they, 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 they fucking lost this for sure. Bro was literally contemplating all his fucking life decisions for the fucking next two minutes sitting on his ass, bro. After he contemplated his life for like the next five minutes, you know what I'm saying? He started saucing up. Him and Taco started saucing up. They went crazy. You know what I'm saying? They started doing their aerial three-pointers. This nigga was jumping before he even caught the ball and shot it. So that's how he was able to get, you know, avoid Akashi's fucking eyes since Akashi isn't physically, you know what I'm saying, tall enough to reach his ass, right? They, they started getting buckets. They, they started hyping me. I was getting hyped up. Coach was going crazy. You know what I'm saying? They got but like four buckets in a row or some shit. Like, Midorima was saucing the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Even though he got dropped again, you know what I'm saying? He gave us a fucking gem. This nigga dropped a fucking bar on our asses, bro. He dropped a bar. And then he was like, you bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? He made his ass pass and my boy Otobu, he came and fucking blocked that big ass black nigga. I was getting hyped, coach was getting hyped. But then this nigga Akashi like, oh, okay, I, I, I see y'all, you know what I'm saying? I see it. I was like, okay, I, I fuck with this, you know what I'm saying? Give me a fucking challenge or whatnot. This nigga fucking scores on their own fucking basket and he gives his team a pep talk and he talking about he gonna gouge his eyes out if they lose. And keep in mind, when I heard this shit, I'm like, this nigga crazy. But, like, I'm not even surprised. This nigga Taco talking about, oh, nigga, this just fucking ice cold. This nigga needs to relax. Me, too. I'm thinking he needs to relax, too. But, like, I'm not surprised he's saying this because earlier, before we saw this nigga try to stab Kagami with scissors, actually, he fucking succeeded. You know, after that, though, this nigga, he, he stopped. He nope. stopped me to rim shit real quick. That fucking Ariel, she stopped that shit fast, boys. And after that shit got stopped, bro, it was game. It was game after that, bro. Kaki just started asserting his dominance. And, to be honest, he just fucking added like insult on injury you know he this nigga pulled a crisp move he she showed no fucking sportsmanship for the hall of fame cpu you feel what i'm saying in basketball you're not supposed to fucking get a bucket when you up you know like 10 points and it's the end of the game you're supposed to let the clock you're supposed to dribble the clock out pretty much right this nigga proceeds to break minarima's ankles they up at least like 10 plus points or whatnot the game is finished he proceeds to break minarima's ankles and hit a shot in his face nigga talking shit while he's shooting as well Nigga, if that ain't disrespectful, I don't know what is. Niggas is fighting over that. Russell Westbrook is fighting your ass over that shit. I'm telling you. And so after the game, this nigga like, oh, nigga, I ain't shaking your hand, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? I don't shake hands with losers. That was, that was definitely one of my favorite games, bro. I love me to remember. That was his final stand. I fucked with Akashi's fucking dominance with the Emperor's eye. It, it set him up well for the, for, the, for, the, for the final game. Damn, now for this next one, bro. This Almine rematch, bro. It was a loss. This game was long, guys. This was a long ass game, boys. We started this. We started this game off with some clean ass animation, boys. Corco came back different. You know, saying so he came back with his brand new pass, his ignite pass, Kai nigga, and most one of the cleanest an animated scenes of the series by far. This nigga fucking pushes that shit past Almine's hand. I'm like, damn, okay, nigga, you like that now, Tetsu. He pulling out all his new tricks, you know what I'm saying? He pulling out his vanishing drive on niggas, right? Almine is seeing all this shit. He's like, oh, okay, Tetsu. I see you, my nigga. Okay, okay, okay. But then this nigga, <laughs> this nigga is a fucking monster. This nigga stops all that shit at once, bro. This nigga I'm being lost Coracle the fuck up. This nigga closed his eyes when Coracle tried to drive, nigga. And he was able to stop that shit without even looking at his ass, boy. T nigga, nigga said all his efforts were fucking useless. Coracle, you know, that nigga is heated at this point. Like, oh, my fucking, my technique couldn't work against this nigga. Would have been working towards this whole entire time, right? And this nigga tries to fuck I, 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 to this day, I don't even know what the fuck he was trying to do at this moment. I don't know if he's purposely trying to hit out Mina or he was trying to feed one of his teammates. But this nigga throws another ignite past Kai. And this nigga, I mean, they stopped that shit like he stopped the fucking key blast. 
This nigga look like he stopped the fucking comment. I mean, hard with the face the way that shit looked animated, bro. I was like, oh hell no, nah, this nigga. I'm thinking Akashi final boss, but this nigga look like he found a boss at this point. But now, but now with Koroko out the game, you know, so he got his bench after doing that buffoonery that he just pulled. I mean, they ain't me start going at it, right? And this nigga, I mean, it is one of the fucking sauciest fucking highlight plays of the series, bro. This nigga does a self alley oop over Kagami, a self alley oop throw behind the head shot. I ain't never seen no bullshit like that ever in my life. But that nigga just threw that shit up and he just fucking made it like as he always does, bro. That's why this nigga's the fucking best. <laughs> but you know Cogman also doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Crossover going through the screen, pull up, jumper, splash. But now them niggas start going back and forth and whatnot, and they just going at it, pretty much. It's looking like an even battle at this point. First half ends, you know what I'm saying? But when we come back into the game, this nigga, I mean, it looking like he locked the fucking, he looking like a completely different type of human being. It looking like he not even human, bro. This nigga's focusing on all types of shit, bro. I'm like, damn, okay. Cogman can sense that shit, too. He's like, oh, this, this nigga feeling a little different right now. And now for new half starting. Kuroko's back in the game, and this nigga, evil glasses guy, what I call him, trying to lock Kuroko up. And obviously, this nigga talks a whole lot of shit. This nigga talks the most. He's probably up there for the, the most lines in the series, because the amount of times this nigga talks his shit is insane. But, I mean, hey, this nigga look like a different type of human being. He fucking strips Kagami, you feel what I'm saying? He going to the basket, he meets Hugo, he like, <laughs> dot nigga, blows by his ass. And then Kagami somehow catches up. But then this nigga, Almine, I, I kid you not, this nigga just defies all types of gravity laws or what. This bro, this bro isn't, he's, he's on a different planet right now, literally, because I don't understand how he's able to do that. He does a fucking, he jumps. 360 midair, he delays the 360, of course. He jumps first, then he does the 360, and then somehow he's able to reach the rim and dunk it. Dunk the ball. Nigga, tell me how he does that. But now if Almide fucking Sas and Kagami up again and everything going to shit, Koroko brings something out on his bag. Koroko brings out his misdirection overflow, which is absolutely fucking cracked and broken as hell. Um, so everybody's fucking vanishing and disappearing all over the court. We get in buckets again. We starting to take momentum of the game. Koroko is on timing. Almine can't even stop this shit. Nigga, Kor Koroko giving it at all, bro. Looking like he's stressing the fuck out. I can't even lie. Though my nigga Almine is still locked and he's still getting buckets though, right? So they proceed to fucking triple team his ass. Kagami can't stop his ass alone anymore. So they tripling this man right now, right? Somehow he gets by his, all their asses, right? Going up for the shot. You know, it's a contested shot. But Almino always makes them bitches. But he fucking misses this one. And this is because Koroko fucking uses fucking overflow to stop his ass. Right? So it's looking like we got Almine locked up. But that nigga Almine said, no, 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 nigga. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I still got more of my bag, nigga. Y'all niggas is tweaking. You you know you know some shit's about to go down when you can't see anime characters' eyes and I I I I, I knew this nigga was on time when I seen that shit. Nigga speed blitz cog me cog me like oh 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 with his fucking hand on this shit and he gracefully fucking lays the ball up. And then for the very first time in the whole entire series, we see somebody enter the zone. My nigga Almine was the first. This nigga forcefully opened them fucking gates up and entered the zone, bro. And as you can expect, this nigga was just fucking cooking everybody in the zone, getting steals, fucking making all sorts of types of baskets, bro, was on time and in the zone, bro. Nobody could really stop his ass, bro. You feel what I'm saying? This nigga had Kagami going through flashbacks talking about nigga, I'm weak and shit, right? Literally nobody could stop Almine. But the flashbacks help Kagami. Help Kagami unlock his fucking latent potential. Yes, latent potential. This nigga fucking sneaks Almide. He taps the ball out of bounds from behind his ass and, you know, at the end of the episode, this nigga into the zone. Bro, I kid you not, bro. I, when I tell you my hype was at a fucking 200%, bro, I kid you not, it was at a 200%, bro. I could not wait to watch the next episode that based on how that episode ended, bro, nigga. Oh my god. So these two niggas are going at it in the zone. The fucking animation is absolutely insane. Nigga, they're moving ex at extreme speeds. They're blocking each other's shots and all types of shit. Kagami doing his thing. Almine doing his thing. But since Almine entered the zone before him, he has his time limits running out quicker, right? So Kagami obviously has the edge above him in the battle, right? He speeds bitch blast Almine, makes the shot, lead is cut. And then, and then this nigga proceeds to block the living shit. Shit out of fucking Almine. Nigga has his ass all on the ground and shit. We ain't, we ain't never seen a nigga get disrespected like that before, right? Nigga had the coach about to call a timeout, but this nigga Almine said, nigga, this is the best part. He said, nigga, we about to get hype right now, nigga. Yeah, nigga, don't fuck no nigga. Don't be worried, nigga. Don't be scared, nigga. I got this shit, nigga. I'm him. Next play down, this nigga makes a fucking crazy ass fucking shot. I kid you not, bro. This nigga is on timing, bro, with it, bro. Nigga, there's a fucking 
over the backboard shot again. Again, he does it, bro. He's fucking insane, guys. He's literally insane. This nigga did the anime pose too. Like, Haha, there ain't no point in a battle if you don't win. Now, here, I won't even lie, bro. You know what I'm saying? Saren, they be getting lucky as shit. And that's obviously, it's obviously because they got plot on their side. They're, they're, you know what I'm saying? They, they are, they're the te they have the main character on their team. They're going to have the plot on their side. But Tepe made a fucking and one basket. He misses the free throw. Of course, Gagami gets the rebound. He tries to slam it for the win. This nigga on me to meet his ass the rim. I'm like, yes, sir, nigga. Let's go. I want this nigga on me to beat their ass. I can't even lie, bro. But then, but then. Of course, this little ass, little ass, blue haired nigga fucking gets the ball. Fucking this nigga, this nigga predicted that nigga was gonna block Kagami's shot. He got the ball, passed it back to him, and Kagami fucking posters out. I mean, it should have never happened. But it's the truth. They end up winning on a poster slam. Not disrespecting Almina like that. How you gonna how you gonna disrespect my boy Almina like that? How you gonna how how he gonna lose a game on a poster? How you gonna lose a game by game poster? It could have been somebody else. Why not fucking poster Wakamatsu's bum ass? Why'd it have to be Almina? The Kisei and Almine matchup went crazy, bro. It came out of completely nowhere, bro. I wasn't expecting this to happen at all. Season finale, and it fucking lived up to a fucking season finale. I'll tell you that much. My two favorite characters going head to head, nigga. I was like, yes, sir, let's fucking go. It made it, it made it more hard because Almine was actually playing the full game. This nigga didn't show up at halftime. This nigga was like, oh, I'm playing Kisa today, nigga. I'm showing up, nigga. <laughs> if you feel what I'm saying? I'm playing the whole game, nigga. I ain't gonna be late to this shit, nigga. I was like, oh yes, sir, nigga. Nigga about to turn the fuck up. Let's go. So the game starts off with this crybaby ass nigga making a fucking shot, right? Sakurai, right? But then a top five character just fucking entered the fucking scene. My nigga Kasamatsu strips the fuck out of Evil Glasses guys on the fast break, pulls up, hits the three. That's my nigga right there. Kasamatsu, bro. Top five character, bro. Oh my god, bro. He's fucking, I love him, bro. Now, Amina's on offense. He started busting out all his unorthodox type fucking moves, bro. Fucking cross, fucking fake cross spin. Nigga doing it all or some shit, bro. Nigga going up for the full shot, but that shit gets fucking slapped by my nigga Kise. That's my nigga right there. This nigga fucking full pump block that shit, boys. Huh, nigga, I know your moves, nigga. You know, so I used to play your ass all the time. But the first quarter ends with Kaijo in the lead, 18 to 13. But then, nigga, it take, it take all me that little while to get warm, right? That boy was locked the fuck in. Started the fucking second quarter. This nigga was fucking busting it down on the floor, nigga. Nigga was fucking intense. You see spiritual pressure lines. Then, bro, just starts absolutely annihilating QJ, bro. Nigga then hits him with the cross cross on his ass. And then, nigga, hits his fucking third and one of this video, bro. Nigga, I wish I was that nigga, bro. Real talk. I wish I was this nigga on the court, bro. If I could choose fucking any of their fucking abilities, bro, I'm choosing Amine's. You know, Kisei's still continuing to get his ass locked up. They think it's time out. Then this nigga talking about he got he has some sort of plan. I'm like, okay, nigga. Okay, I'm excited. This game not going to be easy for Almide. Let's see it then. So pretty much his plan was to cry and copy Almide. He'd be copying other people's skills, but he's trying to copy Almide's ass this time, right? He can't copy Generation Miracle players. So that's what he's trying to do at this moment. So he's pretending to get cooked by him multiple times until he's able to fucking fully, you know, copy his fucking skill set, right? But then my nigga, top fuck character Kasamatsu drops, draws a fucking charge on Almide. And keep in mind, this is a big big play because this nigga Albina is in foul trouble now though he's still fucking cooking Kisei's ass I'm telling you he's fucking put this nigga in the blender multiple times he's just throwing shit up there bro this nigga was just destroying his ass bro I kid you not Kisei was getting his ass fucking work I tell you that much but, but once the second half starts bro this nigga Kisei he's starting to get the hang of it you feel what I'm saying he's starting to get Albina's movements down his rhythm down and I'm looking at this shit like oh my god this is about to be the craziest shit I've seen in this whole entire show so far. That's literally what I'm thinking when I see this shot, when I see Kisei Sasuna. Because keep in mind, this nigga, this nigga, God, this nigga got disrespected so many times. This nigga lost in a practice match against fucking beginner Kuroko and Kagami. But keep in mind, my nigga, I'm meeting knows what's up. So this nigga proceeds to fucking throw a fucking shot, I think, from the three-point line. I'm still not sure to this day. And he's like... Huh, nigga, you better hold your bitch ass up, nigga, before I end this game right now, nigga. You know, so Kisei's like, say, let's bet. A couple positions later, nigga, this happens. <laughs> My nigga did it. He fucking, he fucking copied his ass fucking perfectly, bro. He looking like he has an open lane, right? But you know what I mean? He's trailing his back. And then we, we fucking, we pan over to Momoi. He's like, you dumbass nigga, stop! You know what I'm saying? He, he, he fucking fouls the fuck out of him, right? 
But this nigga forgot that he copped his ass. Did. We saw what his ass did at the beginning of this video to fucking Kagami's ass. That fucking and one. He said does the same exact shit. That nigga was in the crowd watching that game. He knows what he what his ass did to Kagami. He did the same shit to him. That's another form of disrespect, nigga. Can you imagine nigga, a nigga copping your same exact move, nigga? That's fucking low key disrespectful. And then he gave him this little fucking this this head nod, bro. He gave him that little head nod, bro. And keep in mind, nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this that's this nigga's four fucking foul, bro. Kasamatsu took that charge and, and, and put that nigga in fucking foul trouble. And with this foul, he has four fouls. One more, one more foul, and then he out the game. My nigga keeps like disappointing his bitch ass, cause he that's why he gave him that head nod. This nigga fucking got his stool off. I mean, they fumbling the ball. He going to the basket. He going for the lamp, and I mean, they just having flashbacks to what just happened a couple minutes ago, bro. Bro's just having flashbacks to everybody's face. He's like, all oh, you niggas doubted me. All oh, you bitch ass niggas. After everything I done for your asses, this is how y'all gonna treat me. Y'all gonna sit here and doubt me like I ain't that nigga. Keep in mind, bro, has four fucking fouls and he's doing this, bro. That was a risky ass play. He he's still pissed off about that little head knock Kisei gave him. He talking about, you know, you gotta come at me like you trying to kill my bitch ass. You feel what I'm saying? Kisei agrees. And so we headed to the fourth quarter, bro, and I'm telling you, bro, it was it was fucking insane, boys. I mean it is hot right now. He's heated. He starts the quarter off aggressive as hell, boy. He 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 dribbling the Kisei spin move, spin move, back breaking, fade away. I'm saying Kisa was grabbing his jersey and everything. Obviously, Kisa copies the same exact move, and and they just go on a shot chucking fest. I kid you not. They are just chucking shots back to back to back to back. I kid you not, guys. They just keep they, they is just going at it, bro. And then they start fucking poster slamming niggas, bro. They start posting each other 360 dunks, just fucking reverse behind the back. Like they is doing all sorts of types of stuff. I'm telling you, it, it was going, it, it was insane. And then a uh, defining moment in Keith's career and the whole entire show happens, bro. Bro, he gets a freaking foot injury. A foot injury doesn't affect them much of this game. But later on, it affects him a whole lot. But he gets a foot injury. He still makes the shot somehow. But that has very long-lasting effects on throughout the whole series. The next possession was going to decide the game. Right, my nigga Key says mash up against Almeida. They thinking in each other's head. Should I do this? No, he going to react like this way. No, that nigga going to do that. No, he going to do that shit. No, this nigga doing that. No, that nigga doing this. This nigga doing that. And they, they, they thinking. They thinking. They playing chess in their heads. Right? So we going up. Key say doing his thing, right? You know what I'm saying? He makes his move. He going up for a former shot. This nigga, I mean, it looked like he levitating in the air to try to block that shit. I kid you not. That boy looked like he was flying, right? Kise looking like he about to get blocked, right? But, like, he copied on me there. So, I'm thinking, mm, this nigga can do it all. He can probably do some sort of weird orthodox shot. He probably going to change his shot midair. But this nigga decides to pass to my nigga Kasamatsu. Top five character. Wide open. Behind him at the three-point line. I'm thinking, yes, sir, nigga. Kise, you my nigga. Let's go. Kasamatsu, my nigga. Let's do this. Right? Then this nigga Almine on some bullshit does a 360 mid-air spin fucking steel slap, nigga. You know, at that point, I'm thinking he is the final boss when he did that shit, bro. Because what the fuck was that, bro? He defied fucking gravity yet again, bro. So after that happened, boys... The game was pretty much wraps. It was wraps after that. You know what I'm saying? They, they ended up going up, you know, saying around 10 points, right? And after that, the game's pretty much over. There's like barely any sight. There's barely any time left, right? But we have another disrespectful moment here, man. I mean, a very unnecessary. Does not need to happen. The game's finished. He can just dribble off the clock, but he decides not to. This nigga decides to fucking go for a dunk. Kisa said he not having that shit. He not about to disrespect my team like that. We fought hard, you know what I'm saying? So it's a sportsmanship. So this nigga fucking meets his ass at the rim. He meets his ass at the rim. They talking for a good like 10 seconds. They having a whole conversation while this nigga's, you know what I'm saying, about to poster his bitch ass. And then, like I said, this is just utterly disrespectful. And then he fucking posters his ass at the end of the game. The, the clock, to get the, 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 the time runs out and he posters his ass and has this nigga on his ass. No type of sportsmanship without for Almine. That nigga Almine doesn't give a fuck. Respectfully, that's another fighting moment. If you're Russell Westbrook.